So fusion and data, just to make a, a number. So every pulse in jet, let's say it lasts around 30 seconds, uh, this will produce around 50 gigabytes of data. Nowadays, this is still actually quite reasonable, but for a human to analyze, this is still a lot. If you do a couple of pulses each day, each day you will need a lot of master students to analyze all of this data. So we want to automate this, of course. We want to use machine learning models and algorithms for us to extract the data, not only because maybe we don't want to spend time, but also because they might be smarter than us. They might be able to extract more data or more lessons from the data than we are able to. And this is where my thesis subject comes into play. So I will be analyzing LMs basically. This is a, a visualization of a discharge shot from Compass Tokamak in Prague. You can see the H mode window indicated and all of these big spikes are elements. So what we will do, what I will do together with my promoter, so Geert Verdolaar, is analyze a lot of elements. Uh, so this is a jet discharge. So first an algorithm had to be created to detect elements. Uh, this is still under construction but being created now. So this, this is what you can see here. Uh, well, these are more than, I don't know, 60 or 70 elements in, in one discharge. So this would be very hard to um, identify by hand. And once this is done, we can analyze the characteristics. And once we analyze the characteristics, we have, for example, the shape parameter of this gamma. Then we can plot all of the shape parameters in a 1D data or in a 1D parameters piece. Well, space, it doesn't necessarily have to be plotted. It can also be, well, a 5D parameter space where you plot all of the different parameters. And then the main goal or, or the, the ideal goal of, of my thesis subject would be to plot all of these parameters in parameter spaces and then do some kind of machine learning. So this will either be clustering if we don't have label data or um, if we do have label data, well, we can first train an algorithm and see how well it performs on unseen data. And basically what, what we are aiming for is, is, for example, to be able to distinguish between type one and type three elements or type one, type two, type three, type four elements. I don't know if you know, but there are different kinds of elements. So this would be very useful if we could recognize them. Our applications include reconstruction of plasma 2D profile in this nice paper by Yogo Ferreira, whom I don't know, but he seems to be a very good scientist. And uh, so, so this, this, this can be done right by using a um, convolutional neural network or a recurrent neural network to predict plasma disruptions. This is also very popular. And, and the main uh, use of machine learning is disruption prediction, basically very close to what we are doing. So real time, prediction of whether a disruption will happen and also real-time feedback so we can teach the machine okay something is coming prepare for it or or even better do something so we can avoid the the disruption because as you know avoiding disruptions or mitigating them will be crucial for for further fusion reactors especially for large scales one like demo or or further <laughs>